Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will learn about the geopolitics of Africa. China has been investing heavily in East Africa for several years. The Chinese have connected Djibouti by rail to Ethiopia, the largest country in the region. In addition to investing in many other infrastructure projects in Ethiopia, the Chinese have dug oil and gas wells in eastern Ethiopia. As landlocked, Ethiopia is almost entirely dependent on neighboring Djibouti for trade with the outside world. The US and French have had military bases in Djibouti for many years. In recent times, Japan and China have also set up military bases there. Saudi Arabia is also going to have a military base there. The United Arab Emirates has military bases in Eritrea, a neighboring country to Djibouti. From there they helped in the war in Yemen. Located at the confluence of the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea, these countries are strategically important. It is the main sea link between Asia and Europe. Somalia is just as important here as any other country. The new power that has emerged in Somalia is Turkey. At the end of last September, Turkey inaugurated its largest military base in Somalia. Turkey is using that base to train Somali troops. A Turkish company has taken over the management of a seaport in the Somali capital. Mogadishu. Turkey has also invested heavily in the country. Middle East News reports that Turkey has the largest number of diplomatic missions in Africa. Turkish Airlines has more destinations than any other airline in Africa. Federico Donnelly, a research fellow at the University of Genoa, writes for Istanbul's Anadolu Agency. Reviewing the history of Turkey's growing interest in Africa. He said that since 2005 Turkey has been increasing its diplomatic activities in Africa. Turkey, like other countries, continued to expand its operations in Africa until 2011. But since then Turkey has expanded its operations to provide humanitarian assistance to Africa. At the same time, Turkey became part of Somalia's politics in search of a political solution. At the same time, however, Turkey is in competition with rival powers in the region. With so many military bases in neighboring Djibouti and Eritrea, Turkey's position in Somalia cannot be excluded. Recalling the words of renowned author Farid Zakaria, Federico Donnelly said that the conflict of powers in Africa is a reminder that a great change is about to take place in the world system. It is no longer possible to say that power is now in the hands of superpowers only. The emergence of various regional and global powers is indicative of the new world order. The purpose of the U.S. military operation in Africa is also being discussed at a time when there is a lot of talk in the U.S. media about what the Americans are doing there after four members of the U.S. Special forces were killed in a war in their own West, some say Niger. Many are raising questions. U.S. investigative journalist Nick Tars writes about U.S. bases around the world in The Intercept. He says Americans are building Africa's largest military base at a cost of about 100 million. It is difficult to maintain contact with the outside world with that place in the middle of the desert called Agadez. Nick Terz has questioned the purpose of this important U.S. base. The question of Tarsus lies in the midst of geopolitical conflicts in North Africa. Agadez is located on the strategic land route connecting West Africa with the North African Mediterranean coast. From here, Americans will be able to fly drones over neighboring Libya, Algeria, Mali, Burkina Faso, Nigeria and Chad. Because the Americans do not want to fall behind in geopolitical competition. They are building a huge military base in Agadez. Recent events, however, suggest that not only should we see U.S. activity in Africa now, but also the rest.